Hey, what is up everybody? Michael Crump back here again. And today we're gonna go ahead and update our YouTube jailbreak that we have installed in the previous videos. So a brand new version dropped of Y2JB, and this is version 1.2.1. And in this version, we can see that there was a change log where they embedded the YouTube update blocker. Now, if you're wondering what this is, if you have been getting this where it states downloading an update file, then this new update will help prevent that from happening. Now, most of the times when that was happening, it was because people did not set the proxy first. But if you have followed my tutorials, then I have guided you in the right direction. Now, it does state here that the 1.21 download.dat does not contain the update blocker and that you must use this app info underscore editor to manually add the YouTube update blocker. Now, looking into the releases here, there is a backup file if you do want to restore a PlayStation 5 to this that automatically has that YouTube update blocker ready to go. And for those of you that are already jailbroken, you will want to grab the Y2JB download zero. So go ahead and download that. And from right here, I have a USB drive. And over here, I have the zip file. We're just going to grab the download zero.dat and drop that onto our USB drive. Now again, just like the other videos, we are completely offline, so we are using PS5 Explorer. So go ahead and download this and install it if you haven't already. Okay, so back over on my PlayStation 5 here, I'm gonna go ahead and just get jailbroken. And here we're gonna go ahead and use the one that we set up yesterday. And it is so much easier to jailbreak without sending all those payloads over. We are now jailbroken. We've got a PlayStation 5 9.60 and then K-Stuff 1.64. Wow, that was super fast. Okay, let's go ahead and get our jailbreak updated. So we're gonna go to PS5 Explorer here and we're gonna go root access. We're gonna go down to mount here, again to USB zero. And we're going to select the download zero.dat, press the triangle button, and we're going to copy it. And we're going to go circle, circle, and then scroll down to the folder that says user. And then we're going to go down to download, and then PPSA01650, and then press the triangle button again. And now we're going to take the option right here to paste, and we're going to select yes on that. Okay, so there is one more file that we will need to copy over. So go to your system data folder here, and then go over to priv. And now we're gonna go into the MMS folder here, and we're gonna take the app info.db, and we're just going to send that to the root of our USB drive. Okay, let's take that back over to the PC. So back to the GitHub repo of Y2JB, there is a file here called app info underscore editor that will do this for you that is pretty easy. Now, the one thing with this is, is that it does require Python. Okay, so with that USB drive plugged in, again, with the download 1.21.zip, there is a file in here called app info editor, and just drag and drop that to the USB drive. So from here, come up and type in CMD. And we are simply gonna run Python app info underscore editor dot py and press return. And if you see that, then that means that is successful. So back over in our folder here, you can see the new one is located right there and the old one is right there. So let's jump over to the PS5 and then back over on the PS5, we need to go back over to the mount folder, USB zero, app info, Dot db, press the triangle button, and then select copy. And now we're gonna go all the way back to the system data folder, and then priv, MMS, press triangle again, and now go ahead and select the paste button and press yes on that. Okay, now our PS5 should be completely updated, so let's just go ahead and reboot again. Okay, so now our console has been updated, so let's go back to media, 
and go over to YouTube and we can see right there it has been updated. It is Y2JB version 1.2.1 and we're going to press OK here. Now the reason that this isn't working is because we did replace the download 0.dat and so the files that the PS5 autoloader had are now completely gone. But it's okay, it's pretty easy to fix that. Let's switch back over to the PC. Okay, so we just successfully updated to Y2JB 1.21 and that is working exactly as intended. Now we need to update our PS5 Y2JB autoloader to version 0.2, which just came out right around seven hours ago. Now what is interesting about this one is, is that now it's gonna be a whole lot easier to update because this one adds in the Y2JB updater, which is just a way for updating Y2JB on a PlayStation 5. So basically you can take this Y2JB underscore update dot zip and in the future just put it on your USB drive to update it. No more manually going in and copying and replacing files. Now we will need to do this one last time. So again, you know the drill here. Go ahead and download the download 0.dat and copy that over to a USB drive. Now back over on our PS5, we are gonna to have to do this manually again. So there is my laps.js on port 50,000. And then I have ETA hen on port 9021. And we're gonna go back over here to PS5 Explorer again. And we're gonna to go to mount USB 0. Download 0.dat, again this is the one from the its plk repo, triangle and then copy, and then back over to the user folder, download ppsa01650, triangle, and then just go ahead and paste and select yes on that. Okay, now that that has been copied over, let's go ahead and reboot and we will try it in action. Okay, so I just rebooted this console so I'm not jailbroken or anything like that. Now let's go ahead and launch YouTube and if we did everything correctly, then there we go, we can see auto loader version 0.2 as well as we've got Y2JB 1.2.1 it is automatically loading the ELF files and boom, at this point it is loading case stuff as well as ETA hen 2.4b and wow, at this point I am completely jailbroken. So I have access to all of my things like the ETA hen toolbox and again I could play any of these games that I currently have. So if we wanted to launch Plants vs. Zombies again, well, then this one would run as expected. Anyways, there's a lot of stuff going on in the scene right now, and I will definitely be keeping you updated. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!